Hi, I'm Bianca. This is a flow that I use to connect with the Lord on a regular basis. You start by bringing your mind into focus with God by presenting yourself as a living sacrifice, keeping in mind Romans 12, 1 to 2. Firstly, it's pouring out. This is an act of emptying yourself out, and it's done in two ways. Firstly, pouring out your sin, confessing those things that you've done and haven't done that have grieved the spirit. It's better to be as detailed as possible and not too general because this helps you be honest with yourself. Confession brings freedom, not condemnation, because then we get to receive God's forgiveness. The second way of pouring out is pouring out your concerns, everything that's bothering you. In reading Psalm 62, 8, it says, trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is your refuge. So just by pouring out your concerns, it helps us to tell us what we're thinking and what's bothering us, instead of telling him what he thinks he needs to do and how to fix the problem. So it's less about asking him for anything, but just sharing your heart, sharing what's making you anxious, sharing about what is going on and not telling him what you want him to do about it. So after pouring out, we shift our minds to pouring in. We are constantly in a state of wanting more. More money, more clothes, nicer house, better car, more things, more time, more love, more happiness. And what we actually need is to be aware of our need for more of God, more of his peace, his wisdom, his love and his healing power. So think about him pouring more of himself into your heart. Just spend some time receiving that. Another way of pouring in is to read scripture and to meditate on it. Pouring in scripture is a way of letting his truth settle in your heart and help you know that he is there and connect with his word. A nice way to start with this is Ephesians 3, 16 to 19. And then the last one is to pour forth. We are healed and filled so that we can go out and make disciples, share his love with others and make a difference. So ask him to give you a heart and eyes to see the needs of those around you, physical, emotional, social, and love needs. And then ask for him to give you the courage to go out and meet those needs. And then after this time of just spending time in, pouring yourself out, allowing him to pour himself in, you go ready to pour yourself forth. And this is a nice tool to use on a semi-regular basis, as and when you need. Have a wonderful day.